Hello, welcome to React Native Design Patterns. My name is Chris Reyes, and I will guide you through this course. And to give you some background about myself, I have a Bachelor's of Science from Bellevue University in software development. I have been working in the software engineering field for five years and have worked across multiple languages from proprietary financial based languages to .NET and multiple JavaScript stacks. My love for learning led me to React Native, where I have created multiple apps as a freelance contractor. In my spare time, I like to coordinate local meetups and teach programming to those who are getting started in the field. The objectives of this course are to develop an understanding of different design patterns and gain perspectives of why this specific pattern was created and how to implement the pattern. By the end of this course, you will be able to identify the best solution for a given problem for your React Native application. Each section will discuss its own design pattern, starting from some of the more simple patterns leading to more complex. As an introduction, we will start by the topic of utilizing the container component pattern. In this section of videos, you will gain a better understanding of why it's important to utilize components to handle different concerns. In the second section, We'll discuss how to master layouts with React Native styling patterns. We'll take an in-depth look at the Flexbox pattern. In the third section, we'll spend some time on how to handle multiple screens with navigation patterns. We'll do this by working with multiple navigation options in depth. Next, we'll move on to how to avoid repetitive code using the higher order component pattern. Once we understand how important component composition is, We'll dive into our next pattern, and we'll see how sharing code with the render pops pattern can enhance our productivity. In the sixth section, we'll spend some time sharing stateful logic by enhancing communication using the compound component pattern. Next, we'll discuss the context API and how to avoid pop drilling. We'll discuss sharing data amongst components and compare and contrast other options for sharing state. In the last section, We'll talk about utilizing hooks. We'll implement multiple hooks and examine how to share stateful logic amongst our components. You don't need to be an expert to work on this course, but it'll be extremely helpful if you have some experience in HTML, CSS, JavaScript specifically in terms of ES6, some React or React Native experience in setting up a React Native project. If you aren't familiar with ES6, quick overview of object destructuring and arrow functions should be enough to make you feel comfortable with what we'll be working with. In this course, you will learn how to understand the benefit of separating data components in the container component pattern. We'll develop an understanding of the render pops pattern and its code sharing abilities. We'll learn how to clean up our code base by using compound components. We'll gain an insight into the context API and solve a painful problem of prop drilling. We'll take your code sharing to the next level with hooks in React Native as well. You'll also learn how to utilize the Flexbox pattern and multiple navigation options. Now we've discussed what's in store, let's get started.